I can't believe you're getting married. <laughs> that, I left that as the opening of the video. <laughs> oh, did you open on the burp? I, I, no, no, I started recording, like, literally right after that, and just, I was like, I wonder what he's gonna say first to be the opening of the video. <laughs> it's, I can't believe Fucking you're hell. getting married. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't. Are you gonna go up on the up to the I'm altar get, and fucking belch? I'm getting belch? engaged, actually. Not married yet. Well, what's the fucking difference? Well, it's like saying I'm not getting into a car accident. I'm just swerving into a telephone pole. <laughs> Fair enough. What's the difference? <laughs> I get your point. I mean, I can I see how you feel about marriage if that's the analogy you made. <laughs> Katie is your telephone pole. Ah, fair you enough. You get down on one knee and you're like, will you be my vehicular obstacle? <laughs> <laughs> well, when I go into Venice, she might just, like, keel me over into the Venice canals. <laughs> She's gonna fucking <laughs> keelhaul you. <laughs> you're the first, gonna be the first person in, like, 300 years to be keelhauled. <laughs> She's just like, nah, rolls over into the water. Anyways, hi, I'm here again. Yeah, it's never him. It He's was... going to be here for two or three episodes, depending on how many we get done today. Yeah, my schedule has just been so full. You know, all the fabulously gorgeous women who want me takes up so much yeah. of my time. And you had COVID for a bit. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. You were really late to the party on that one. Yeah, I had COVID, then I had an eye infection. Then I had a what sore throat that lasted for like a week. God damn. You I, just, I just was smited by Ill. God. Yeah. Like he was like, you... I was expecting, I was expecting to be stricken with a plague of frogs. He's like, you haven't been really ill in a while. Let's let's let, let's catch you. Up. Let's get you up to speed. No, yeah, have eye infections. Turns out, not great. <laughs> oh god, no, no, not at all. I say, I remember I... when we went on holiday to well, I said holiday. We went uh, for like a visit to Scotland, um, like not last Christmas, Christmas before. Um, and Katie got a really bad eye infection while we were there. Was it from you? Maybe, yeah. Did you belch? Did you belch <laughs> in her eyes? Now, I, I imagine that it was because we were staying in Airbnb and if the pillows weren't, like, regularly cleaned, then... Like, it could have been that. Uh, I got it from family, so... I guess they must have touched something and then I rubbed my eyes after touching it yeah. or whatever. I um, guess it could have been anything, but yeah, so, so she was, like, half blind for a lot of the trip. And she was the one driving us home as well, so she had to get better before we left. It's a lot of pressure. It was, yeah. We, we were literally, we, we got our eye drops the day it started, and we were like, please fucking work. Please fucking work, because if they don't, we're stuck. Why did she have to be the one driving you back? Because no one else could drive. We, we, we went with four of us, and she's the only one that could drive. And she you drove us there. Drive. I, I, I can't drive. Wait, I can't drive, but I've always assumed you're more uh, responsible than I am, so that surprises oh, no. me. I, 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 I don't ever want to drive, ever. I do not like the idea of it whatsoever. Yeah, and same I, here. I, 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 I also I live always somewhere expected where you to have good opinions on things. Eh, well. Uh, I also live somewhere where driving just isn't necessary really at all. Public transport links are everywhere, so... But for the most part, it doesn't affect me. I, um, enough. I just live in a place that's so boring, there's nowhere to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Like, you, you, you've you uh, got to travel quite, quite far otherwise. Yeah. It's like, if mm. I have to go to your local supermarket, that's like a plane trip. What's this bad boy? That looks like a Guan Stone. 10% damage spawns a Guan Stone. The orb is further away, damages enemies on contact, but does not block bullets. Okay. It's a damage increase as well, which is nice. I'll crack that bad boy open. Not bad, not True. bad. Oh god, this shop again. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Two familiars that, I, that copy I, bullets. I don't know why it shows up on the first floor every single time. It's it's kind of strange. It's because I, I specifically asked about it. It's because uh, Pretzel, the guy who programmed it, hard coded it to do that. Because he likes the shop. I don't know if there's reason beyond that. It, it definitely shouldn't, in my opinion. It's way too strong for being on the first floor. Because it's like it, it, the fact is as well, it's half price. Everything in there's half price. Yeah, makes it I, I real love strong. The idea of the shop, like the shop is great. Companions. The shop is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, uh, but every single floor on the first floor is quite strong. Uh, so Elizabeth carried it on board targeting system computer. Ooh, interesting. No aim required whatsoever. I like it. That helps me quite a bit. 
skill issue. Um, Indeed. <laughs> I cannot so I, I have been very busy achieving basically nothing, but... <laughs> As always. So, I've been... Well, for one, just trying to... <laughs> make it through the day, man. <laughs> but... Too, just been trying to figure out a lot of code projects and inscription stuff has been requiring a lot of art because I've been porting to do cross mod compatibility with it. Yeah, I know you've been doing and a lot of inscription stuff. Yeah, you know you should. You, you talk about like you're gonna play inscription when I when I add enough shit to it, but it's like, D did I? I feel did like I say that that? Just, <laughs> you literally did at one point. You're like, I'll play inscription when the mods get good enough. Okay, well maybe I will. That 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 might have been a lie. Yeah, um, I, I what. 100% at the time you said that, and immediately afterwards, I believed you were lying to me, but I h chose to hold out hope. What the <laughs> fuck? That was, like, plus three heart containers. Yeah, three heart containers, but if you get hit on an empty heart container, it gets removed. Oh, interesting. So you have a lot more HP to begin with, but it's easier to lose HP permanently. Who's DMing yeah, I mean, me? Oh, it's one of the idea. fabulously gorgeous women. Okay. One of. One of many. Yes, of course. Naturally. Did you pay this woman? Listen, listen, we all have our vices. <laughs> uh, speaking of, did you hear, hear about that um, fucking US military official who fell for the most on, like, obvious honeypot imaginable? Uh, yes, but I know very little about it. I saw a headline about it, but that's pretty much all I know. Do Hold go on. into detail because I'm I'm intrigued. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can look up some of the exact messages. Boomers be stupid. Hold on, hold on. Where are you at? Where are you at? There. No, it's all about it's boy. all about the uh, the other guy. The guy, I, I'm trying to find exact. Hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll find, I'll find it. I'll find, I promise I'll find it. <laughs> you'll get there, you'll get there. Right. Jack Tech Sarah. No, that was a different guy. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> we'll get Hold there, on. we'll get there. That was, sorry, that was a different guy leaking uh, US government military secrets. Ah, there's always some drama going on. Yeah, that was the guy who leaked them on the Discord server, Thug Shaker Central. <laughs> That's a different guy. <laughs> Amazing. Um, here we go. Here we go. A civilian US Air Force employee has been charged with disclosing classified defense information to a woman he met on a foreign online dating platform. Oh, David Franklin Slater, 63, was taken into custody in Nebraska. I want to see if mm. I can find um, some of the messages. Some of the messages. That she said. That... Is it, it's like the most obvious romance scam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Here we go. So this is some of the messages that she sent him that showed up in his uh, court filing. <laughs> oh, no. Dear, what is shown on the screens in the special room? It is very interesting. By the oh, way, no. she, was claiming, she was claiming to be a woman in Ukraine. So I'm, uh, I'm guessing I'm guessing the scammer knew that this guy was military. I well, First of all, we don't even know who was on the other end of this. So it's if it's... One, if it was a uh, a foreign agent, that's very funny. Uh, <laughs> if it was just a random romance scammer who happened to accidentally wind up with a dumbass military guy, that's even funnier. But the funniest outcome is if it's just, it really is just a random Ukrainian woman <laughs> who's really <laughs> yeah. interested in US government secrets. Oh, uh, that'd be really funny. But, um... <laughs> So some of the things were, by the way, you were the first to tell me that NATO members are traveling on, uh, traveling by train, and only now, already evening, this was announced on our news. You are my secret informant, love. How were your meetings? <laughs> Fucking <hell>. Beloved, <laughs> beloved Dave, do NATO and Biden have a secret plan to help us? <laughs> beloved <laughs> Dave. Uh... Sick. Literally, like, I, one thing that, that like, 
I've sort of been noticing a trend of, and I mean, I think everyone has, is that, like, boomers are always the ones to be, like, oh, um, people nowadays, they always have to be snowflakes and so unique and they're so emotional and they can't handle anything. And then, like, one fake girl goes, you're pretty hot, and they fucking fall head over heels like they've never had attention in their entire life. It's even funnier. I want anyone listening to this, right? I want you to just choose a random friend and for like a month open every message you send them with beloved Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Even if their name isn't Dave. <laughs> oh, what's that? That Dave, it's great that you get information about redacted country. First, <laughs> I hope you will tell me right away you are my secret agent with love. <laughs> Sweet Dave. Sweet, Sweet, Sweet Dave. Dave. The supply of weapons is completely classified, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> what a sweet Dave. My sweet Dave, thanks for the valuable information. It's great that two officials from the USA are going to Kiev. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this, this guy just giving up everything? Yeah, he's fucking like, man, the bitches love it when I leak military secrets. <laughs> <laughs> This is Dave, the easiest I hope way to tomorrow spell NATO will prepare a very unpleasant surprise for Putin. Will you tell me? <laughs> you have a job in the operations center today. I remember. I'm sure there is a lot of interesting news there. Fucking Dave, man. <laughs> Dave does not need to be the sort of guy to have this information. <laughs> oh my god. Why is my game so slightly funny. blurry? My game's um, blurry. Oh yeah, no, I can see that. What the fuck? Let's hope it doesn't persist on the next floor. Who did this? Who did this? Which one? Oh, I think hello. isn't that an effect of the key, like a filter that isn't working quite right? Maybe, yeah. Uh... Yeah, I think this happened last Oops. time you used a key, the delayed key. Because I remember something like this happening in a previous video. Because believe it or not, I do actually pay attention when I'm not in the video. I don't believe it. Um, but god, that's one of my favorite recent news things, because <laughs> it's just so good. It is pretty amazing. <laughs> and, um, so we, some account posted this on, posted these transcripts onto Twitter, and, or the, the website formerly known as Twitter. The, the artist formerly known as Twitter. Uh, <laughs> and the responses are very funny. Yeah, I can imagine what people are saying. <laughs> oh my god. No, guys, she's just really into foreign relations. Beloved Dave, will you tell me your password and social security number? <laughs> <laughs> what is your credit card information, beloved Dave? Who up, sh who up sharing their classified secrets? <laughs> but that is incredible, and I love that I live in the fucking... Weasel I just, timeline. I just wonder, like, is it simply that he just doesn't give a shit as why he's like giving up this information? <laughs> it's just bizarre. Yeah. God, have you heard about? Wait, actually, have I ever explained Weasel timeline to you? <laughs> I, I do not think so. No. It doesn't, it, it doesn't ring a bell right now, but it might if you start explaining it, to be fair. <laughs> so, in 2016, there was an incident in the Large Hadron Collider, where the it like short-circuited, whole thing shut down. Um, it was because a weasel had broken into one of the electrical transformers and chewed through it. Oh, fucking hell. And my favourite conspiracy theory is that weirdos who are like, this weasel caused uh, a rift in reality because of the Large Hadron Collider. It short-circuited the Large Hadron Collider, which split reality in two in the multiverse, which <laughs> sent us down the weasel timeline. <laughs> so, so all the weird shit that's happened since 2016 is because of weasel timeline. <laughs> that's kind of amazing. It's all because of that it's, fucking weasel. It's my favorite conspiracy theory yeah. that we live in weasel timeline. Something like this could only happen in weasel timeline, I'm telling you. <laughs> the conspiracy of weevil time, we weevil, weasel timeline could only exist in weasel timeline. Exactly. It, it's <laughs> self-proving. Yeah. 
But yeah, like, the death of Harambe, people say, is Weasel Timeline. The, um... The... Just everything since 2016. <laughs> it's perfect, I... or the fall of Kervis. Yep. Only Weasel Timeline could invent a contagious bat disease. How oh, dare it. Ooh, what's this bad boy? Shranj Only Eddie. Weasel Timeline... Only Weasel Timeline could invent a disease that people die from specifically because they choose not to believe it's real. <laughs> <laughs> if you had told me that, like, like, what, like, a couple years before COVID started, you, I would, I would have told you that's from Welcome to Night Vale. <laughs> oh my god, yes. That's so Welcome to Night Vale. It's like, there's a contagious disease killing everyone in Night Vale, but people refuse to believe it. <laughs> yeah. It's like, no, there isn't. Just ignore it, it's fine. Don't follow yeah, the government go guidelines. Away. The government's lying to you. It's very night the, the man in the closet is there on official government business. <laughs> is anyone in the comments, have anyone watched, uh, listened to, should I say, Welcome to Night Vale? It is incredibly bizarre, very, very good. There's a similar project. Um, have you ever heard of... It's Scarborough? No, have it might, I ever it heard of Scarborough? Scarborough? I live near Scarborough. Hold on, I might be thinking of something different. There's a place called Scarborough, sir. Hold on. No, that's a different place. Hold on. Wait a minute. Apparently, I also live near Scarborough. Oh. Hold on. I need to look at this on a map. <laughs> Hold on. No, wait. Well, not that close to Scarborough, but I mean, there's apparently a place called Scarborough down in Christchurch. Because we can't have anything original. Um, no, what's it? Scarfolk! That's, I yeah. keep getting Scarfolk, it's called Scarfolk, and I I've keep getting it Scarfolk. confused with, with Scarborough, which is very funny and exactly the sort of thing <laughs> I imagine they intended. Probably. What is it? I've not heard of it. Uh, it's an art project where a guy makes, um, he makes like informational posters about a, an alternate history town in the UK. Oh, yeah, I think I have seen this before. That rings a bell. And it, uh, all the posters end with, for more information, please reread. And it's very <laughs> Night Vale. Yeah, I, I, I think I have heard about this before. Yeah, it rings a bell. Oh my god, I'm Council. Are these <laughs> Health and travel information. Like to go away? Foreign visitors must quarantine in their country of origin for at least 75 years before traveling to the UK. <laughs> Qu quarantine duration may be extended if the visitor lives beyond their already generous 75 years. In such circumstances, entry into the UK may only be granted if an up-to-date death certificate is presented in person by the certificate holder at passport control. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we got a pretty interesting item here. What was that? Oh, uh, yeah, that thing. <laughs> Not That's against such bosses. A weird... <laughs> no, no, it really isn't. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I just I thought I'd try it. <sighs> My god. I'm trying to. Since the this... last election, there have only been two deaths. Asterisk. Figure does not include 5,059 unauthorized passings, 10,286 <laughs> sudden, sudden life discontinuations, 9,927 deaths due to undisclosed cause, 2,576 deaths as a result of mandatory culls, 4,768 <laughs> deaths of people with foreign names, 500 deaths within 11 mile radius of pet shops, 12,400 deaths of people who were too old, 994 deaths occurring between 3pm and 5pm on Saturday the 17th of May in the town square during, a pre during prohibited anti-government protest. <laughs> Just ignore all those ones that. Apart from that, nothing. Oh, I can't. I can't. From fifth. From fist. It's it's five, but st. From fifth of April, nineteen seventy. It will be illegal to gather in groups of one. If you are found within six feet of yourself, whether in public or at home, you could face prosecution, resulting in a fine or prison sentence of up to six years. <laughs> Do not gather Welcome. with yourself. Welcome to Scarfolk. No dogs, no foreigners. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I would say there's probably a few places in the UK that have those exact rules. 
Y yeah, exactly. Fucking. Oh god. <laughs> oh lord, what have you seen? I just scrolled down and there's a poster that says "Don't hope for a better life," with a picture of Margaret Thatcher. Vote conservative. <laughs> 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 It'll always be crap. Just, just deal with it. Exercise 4B. Try to imagine what a deceased family member might look like now. It doesn't bear thinking about, does it? <laughs> you got no keys. Shit. I fucking love Scarfolk because it's just... It's continuing where Welcome to Night Vale like, set the precedent. Definitely. Ooh. This is the second one of these I've taken. Does that do anything? Uh, second one of what? The, um, the blood sacrifice ones. You know, where it makes you vampire. The shrine. I I've think it two makes them more likely I've to be two of them now. to be suckable. I think it makes them more likely to be ah, suckable. Bollocks. Could be wrong, though. Uh, and I'll leave the last post to our readers. If you were born female through no fault of your own, help is now available. <laughs> <laughs> Through no fault of your own. Aha, vampire Under enemies, sevens. vampire me. Under Seven's fire service is now mandatory. I fucking, you know, you could tell me that some of these were real, like from the oh, UK in the 70s, and I would believe definitely, you. Definitely, definitely, yeah. They, they, they have done their research, because these are definitely on the vibe of stuff you could realistically see. Not even just from the 70s, like, there's some of the stuff you can see now. A government proposal for a large-scale deportation facility to be built in the Atlantic Ocean. Bad Kingdom. A one-to-one -one exact replica of the United Kingdom. Identical to the UK in every way, including the same lack of rights. Houses up to 70 million deportees for criminals and those yet to commit crimes. <laughs> I'll just put you all in there. God, uh, I got completely sidetracked by that, but it was worth it. So, I've, I've made errors. I have the only just realized that I have that item the where item, I lose heart the containers. The item that you picked up is doing the thing that it does when you pick it up. Yeah, I kind of forgot I had that, and I've just realized, Impeccable. and I'm like, how, did you, how are you a roguelike YouTuber? I, I don't know. You were talking about interesting things. I wasn't really paying attention to the game too much. You're paying too much attention to fucking Bad Kingdom. Yeah. It sounds like a fucking Kingdom Hearts game. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts Bad Kingdom. It's set in the UK. <laughs> yeah. It's just Donald Duck has to get a job at like a UK you, convenience You just store. start and Mickey Mouse just gets fucking stabbed. <laughs> he gets stabbed. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay, then one's not over, it's fine. Could be. It is. <laughs> it, it is. Let, let, let's, let's, let's do a little boss rush to finish this off. This is a very Impeccable. short episode. Well done. Impeccable. Killed by item string not found. Impeccable. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes. I will take full credit for this, yes. Um, speaking of recent events, have you heard of the Willy Wonka experience? Oh yes. Yes, I have. My god. <laughs> <laughs> to what extent are you familiar with the Willy Wonka experience? Very, very familiar. I've watched like interviews with the people that played the uh, characters and all that sort of stuff. I, again, you know, weasel timeline. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's the most Scottish thing I've ever heard. <laughs> uh, no, I've, like, like, I've seen a Minecraft creeper in a kilt fall down and scream Scotland forever before blowing up someone in Minecraft, and that, that was more Scottish, in my opinion. But, uh, but I mean, it comes close. It certainly comes close. You know, you could just go backwards one, right? Also, do you know why every time I start the game, the game keeps taking my hegemony credits off of me? Not this again. Who did it? Who did it? Which fuck? Which one of you fuckers did it? Who like, did it? every time I start the game, I have, like, zero hegemony credits, and I don't know why. I don't I, I know. Gave, I gave myself, like, 2,000 and came on the all gone. I don't know. I don't know what's causing that. It's a bit annoying. It's, a it's bit annoying, annoying because it really shouldn't be this difficult to fix this fucking issue. <laughs> it is rather annoying indeed. Have you read the uh, the uh, the script for the Wonka experience? Uh, no, I don't think I have. Sorry, no, Willy's chocolate experience. Good old Willy's chocolate experience. 
I haven't, no. I, I've watched, like, the um, the Unknown, the interview with the person that played the Unknown and stuff like that. So, people provided the script. Um to the Willy Wonka experience that the that was they would that the actors tried to follow but but was quickly thrown away oh wasn't uh, it AI generated yes it was yes yeah. it was and it's just like Willy's, nonsensical Willy's chocolate experience because right uh it's not Willy Wonka <laughs> it's Willy McDuff <laughs> a whimsical <laughs> Wonka Doodles, because they're not Oompa Loompas, they're Wonka Doodles, you see. At McDuff's Chocolate Factory, a script. Willie McDuff, <laughs> introduction and audience interaction before entering Garden of Enchantment. <laughs> Scene. A whimsical, brightly lit stage that hints at the magic of the Garden of Enchantment beyond. Willie McDuff, a character <laughs> of eccentric charm and wit, stands before the curtain that separates the mundane from the magical. The audience is buzzing with anticipation. There's the sections in this that say parentheses audience applauds. Because <laughs> the AI clearly didn't realize that this was a, a script for a live production. Yeah. Where you can't fucking brief the audience. <laughs> uh, the, the, or alternatively, you have a Wonka doodle uh, standing off to one side with a sign that says clap. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just, I just love that. Like, it was clearly set up by some sort of scam company. Cause, like, yeah, like all of the website with like AI generated images with like misspelt stuff on it, and then, and obviously there's this AI script that's just like nonsensical. <laughs> Willie McDuff with a grandiose flourish. Ladies, gentlemen, and esteemed guests of all ages, welcome. I am Willie McDuff. Your humble guide on this journey to the extraordinary, the spectacular, and the downright magical Garden of Enchantment. <laughs> parentheses, audience applauds. Willie Macduff, parentheses, smiling. Ah, I see we have enthusiasts among us. But before we proceed, a few formalities. Well, not so formal if I have anything to say about it. Parentheses, winks. Parentheses, he strides downstage closer to the audience with a mischievous twinkle in his eye. I don't like Macduff. I don't like Willie <laughs> Macduff. What's He's a wrong one. If your name is Willie, just do yourself a favor and avoid ever having a mischievous twinkle in your eye. <laughs> You're gonna scare the kids, Willie. I'm just, I'm just saying. You see, the Garden of Enchantment isn't just any garden. Oh no, it's a place where the trees whisper secrets of old, the flowers sing in harmony. And the stones, well, they mostly just sit there, but they do it enchantingly. Parentheses, audience laughs. <laughs> it's like a laugh on cue sort of thing, yeah. <laughs> now I must ask, who among you have brought their sense of wonder? Show of hands, please. Parentheses, audience members raise their hands, some enthusiastically, others more timidly. <laughs> They've got specific actors in the, in the crowd being like, you're the timid one. Splendid! And who has packed an extra pair of socks? You know, in case the first pair gets knocked off by sheer amazement. Parenthesis oh, audience laughs again, a few hands remain raised. So like a few people brought extra socks, I guess. Uh, blah blah blah, he's talking about talking squirrels. Um, talking to tulips. Um... If you find yourself experiencing inexplicable joy or suddenly bursting into song, embrace it. You are ready to leave the mundane, blah, 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 blah. Keep your wits about you and your socks well secured. He just sounds like a molester. He does. Um, he sounds like a he sounds fetishist. Like a, keep your socks close to your children, you, you never come know. Come on now. You don't know what the, come right off. You don't know what the un unknown will do to your little tersies. <laughs> you don't know what the unknown will do. It'll eat you. <laughs> <laughs> the unknown's just like grabbing at their toes as they run by. <laughs> oh man. Oh god, I I feel so bad for whoever was cast as Wonka Doodle. I, I guess they I've, wa Olympus, but... 
Yeah, I, I've I've watched like, an interview of one of the. Do you know that? Do you know that like image of the of the woman looking depressed as the a sad as woman at the wonky yeah. little crack bench? Exactly. Yeah, I've I've watched an interview with her, and she was just like, she looks nothing like she does in that picture. She looks like so depressed in that picture. Obviously, I mean, um, wouldn't you? There yeah, are other exactly. Of her obviously, at the event doing her best, but like um, for like a one moment, she frowned, and it was caught on camera, and it perfectly surmised everyone's feelings. <laughs> And yeah, like what well, she 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 like still hasn't been paid. I don't think any of them have. Yeah. Which is a sin. I mean, the unknown should get like at least double the paycheck for his performance. It was it's the unknown is not what you think in terms of who it is. It's this like really like tiny like four foot something little uh, woman, the like really innocent looking woman. <laughs> yeah. And she was forced to just scare he, kids for the day. He offers children his whiz bang whirly gig, which is apparently a, a candy. Mm. Um, I'm sure it uh, is. He, he introduces the giggle grass that, when uh, stepped on, uses <laughs> hidden speakers to play laughter sounds. So the AI just invented all these prop, like giggle grass and talking tulips and whiz bang whirly gigs. <laughs> talks about butterflies bubble blooms remember in a garden of enchantment every moment is a chance for magic every corner hides a story and every bubble parentheses catches a bubble holds a dream <laughs> for fuck's sake. parentheses he opens his hand and the bubble gently pops releasing a small twinkling light that ascends into the rafters okay. leaving the audience in awe one, one of my absolute favorite things have you have you seen like one of their responses as to why it wasn't like as good as it should have been like the organizers one of their responses is that there, there was there was delays we'd ordered reflective paper and that was meant to ch that was meant to change everything and we didn't yeah, get it yeah. in time like, oh yeah, reflective paper was going to make it better, was it? Reflective yeah, paper. Yeah, well, I mean, the children would have been able to see how sad they were. It's fucking hilarious. Okay, hold on. So, they're talking about the mysterious twilight tunnel. Glowing orbs are mentioned. <laughs> uh, the Wonka Doodles are afraid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, scene in the Twilight Tunnel with Mil Willie McDuff, the Unknown, and the anti-graffiti gobstopper. <laughs> scene um, deep within the serpentine. <laughs> sort of okay. Ah, uh, he's fine. Someone didn't uh, trim their sprites. Mm. Intriguing. I wonder if it has a special effect because it's called the first impression. Maybe it does something interesting on the first uh, strike. Let's have a look. See. Um, scene deep within the serpentine pathways of the twilight tunnel. The atmosphere grows tense as Willie Macduff gathers the audience in a semicircle. His face is illuminated by the flickering light of his lantern, casting long shadows on the walls. The group's laughter and whispers fade as Willie begins to speak in a grave tone. Parentheses with a serious expression. My dear adventurers, we stand on the precipice of a discovery most wondrous and perilous. For within these ancient walls lurks a tale not yet told of an evil chocolate maker known only as the Unknown. <laughs> <clears throat> uh. Parentheses audience leans in, captivated by Willie's words. <laughs> Come on, everyone, lean in. You've got to. The script says so. <laughs> Like I'm imagining a fucking one of the Wonka Doodles with a like a, like a poking iron stick, like a fire poke, and they just poke the audience in the back to get them to lean in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> lean, this damn it, lean. show has long coveted one of my most cherished creations, the anti graffiti gobstopper, a marvel of confectionery science designed to aid oh not just any soul, but the tireless guardians of cleanliness, our beloved mums, and yes dads too, but especially mums, from the endless scourge of dirty socks strewn about by youthful adventurers. There's the socks again. Also, what does that have to do with graffiti? I don't know, you graffiti your socks by sweating into them, <laughs> I guess. And then Willie, Willie McDuff is very interested in your sweaty socks. This is, this is very wrong. <laughs> 
A mur parentheses, a murmur of amusement and agreement ripples through the audience. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Willie McDuff, uh. parentheses, suddenly freezing mid-sentence, his expression locked in shock. Silence envelops the group, the tension palpable. Then from the shadows, a figure emerges, cloaked in mystery and malice. The unknown. Oh. The unknown. Let's get the shit out of kids. With a voice both smooth and sinister. So they're trying to make him fuckable. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta have some sex um, appeal for the parents. Wait, so has the actor for the unknown come come like forward yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, like it, it, I, I was saying, it's like it's like this it's like this four foot five woman. Oh, I was really hoping that it was Tom Curry, <laughs> Tim Curry. Sorry, my bad. Tom Curry, his little known brother from Glasgow. <laughs> um. Ah, Willie McDuff and his band of intrepid explorers. You have something I desire, and with your unwitting aid, it shall be mine. The anti-graffiti gobstopper will no longer clean your worlds. It will turn them to chaos at my command. <laughs> uh, parentheses, the audience gasps, some shifting nervously as the unknown <laughs> scans the crowd, his gaze landing on a chosen <laughs> audience member. You I love there. This idea. Yes, you will assist me in acquiring this precious suite. Together we shall rewrite the rules of cleanliness and order. <laughs> Why is this guy Voldemort? As the unknown extends a hand towards the audience member, the room suddenly brightens and Willie Macduff unfreezes, shaking his head as if disoriented. What? Willie Macduff, parentheses, confused. What? What happened? Did anyone else feel a chill? He, parentheses, he looks around, feigning ignorance of the unknown's presence. You look as if you've seen a ghost. Or perhaps you're feeling just a bit... Whitety? <laughs> what? Is that a word? Hold on. Is that a word that like no I've, one's used I've in 600 years? I've literally never heard it, yeah. Nope, it is not a word. <laughs> yeah, just a weird spelling mistake, most likely. You're feeling whitety. The fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Parentheses. Laughter breaks. Laughter breaks the tension as Willie reassures the audience with a wink and a smile, subtly dismissing the ominous threat of the unknown as nothing more than a momentary illusion. Fear not, Who's my friends. For the power of imagination and good cheer can dispel even the darkest of shadows. Now let us continue our journey with hearts light and spirits undimmed. It's undimmed. I do like to think as well, like, they were, they were given the scripts and I guarantee they just didn't, like, get time to prep for it or anything. They didn't get time to, like, actually, like, practice this. It was just yeah. like, here's the script, just fucking do it. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I don't, I've not read this part before. Uh, he's, he's in his, his imagination lab talking about his beans. His beans. Okay. Talking about his beans. You know. Yeah. As they do. He's talking about his talking about them beans. <laughs> Within these walls we've concocted creations beyond your wildest dreams. Let's not forget our secret inventions. The soup flavoured jelly beans designed to keep the wee ones clean. <laughs> Hot and spicy beans that parentheses lowers his voice. Attract the birds. <laughs> parentheses winks. That's a story for another day, or perhaps a question for your parents. For shagging. <laughs> so the hot and spicy beans attract the birds, so... I'm guessing it I means guess, the birds and the bees, right? I I assume he's meaning birds as in women. <laughs> oh, that, that might be it, yeah. <laughs> but I also wouldn't put it past him if this was just meaningless, like, whitety. <laughs> Uh, parentheses, or the audience chuckles, appreciating the playful innuendo. Ah, and my favourite, the boogerberry bean. Freshly made from Grandpa's old crusty hanky. A taste oh. that's, well, let's just say, uniquely exquisite. Lovely. My god. Okay, we're going to continue this conversation in the next episode. Because we're about oh no, to yeah, absolutely. Come. And we're just going to just that, roll right into like, it. Like, some of the only candy mentioned in this script is fucking soup beans, uh, <laughs> sex beans, and fucking and there's grandpa's like no, there's, beans. There's like no chocolate either. 
Right, anyway, we'll continue yeah. the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Bye. Hell yeah. <laughs>